Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the problems. I am continuing the problems only and the, because problems are also very important from this uh, radar systems uh, first topic, radar and equation. In the previous video, I have explained two problems. One is very simple problem which can be asked for two marks or three marks and the second problem was important uh, that is also eight marks question and uh, Maxwell radar range equation formula. Now I am going to explain two more problems in this video which are very important uh, and I have collected these questions from the previous uh, question papers only. These questions will help you definitely in the examination. Compute the maximum detectable range of the radar system specified below. So operating wavelength is given which is nothing but lambda. Lambda value is given. I am writing here itself. And the peak pulse transmitted power which is nothing but uh, transmitter power PT is also given. And the minimum detectable signal which is nothing but S minimum that is also given. Capture area of the antenna, aperture area of the antenna which is nothing but A is given. And radar cross section of the target 20 square meter which is nothing but sigma is also given. So now let us write the formula. Uh, what is the question now? Compute the maximum detectable range. Maximum range we need to find out. So R max is equal to Pt G sigma A E by 4 pi square yes min whole power 1 by 4. Now let us check whether all the given values are given or not. If it, anything is not given, again we need to go for conversions. Uh, PT, PT is given. Next G, G is not given. Gain is not given. Sigma is given. A is given. And the minimum detectable signal S is also given. In the previous problem which I have explained in the previous video, in that G is given, A is not given. What we have done? The same method here also we need to do. Okay. Here A is given, G is not given. So, relation between G and A E is, what is the relation between G and A E? G is equal to, gain is equal to 4 pi A E by lambda square. 4 pi A E by lambda square. Okay, using this relation conversion, you need to get the value of G. So that is equal to 4 pi everything is if everything is ready we can substitute here only 4 pi is there okay a is there lambda lambda is also given okay no problem now we can substitute directly so 4 pi into a e what is a e 5 divided by lambda square see this carefully lambda is given in terms of centimeters I am uh, representing with uh, red color so that you can be cautious when you are taking this value lambda is in terms of centimeters should be converted into meters centimeters should be converted into meters because we are getting the value of max for radar range equation in terms of meters we are calculating the maximum range in terms of meters and then one more thing is the area of antenna is given in meters square and the radar cross section of the target is also given in terms of meter square. So you have to convert the centimeters to meters in the lambda. So that's why here 3.2 into centimeters to meters 10 power minus 2 meters whole square hope you understand now if you don't do this conversion definitely the answer will be wrong okay you have to do this conversion before uh, uh, substituting the values in the formulas so the resultant value will be like this 61357 into uh, 61357 this is meters sorry sorry it is gain no units 61357 now you need to substitute this value in our maximum equation so that you can get the final answer 
So let us do that. So R max is equal to 500 PT. What is PT? What is the, what are the values are given? PT is nothing but 500 kilowatts. So 500 into 10 power 3 into 5. BT G G is nothing but 61357 we have calculated just now into PT G sigma 20 into AE 5 divided by 4 pi square yes min what is the value of yes min how much it is given 10 power minus 13 watts so 10 power minus 13 watts whole power 1 by 4 okay so now if you simplify this you will get the answer as 663.9 kilometers once check these values okay this is the maximum radar range value we have got for the given question now let us move on to the second problem, um, fourth problem in this uh, first topic. So for the specifications of your radar listed below, compute the power received at 50 kilometers distance from the radar antenna. See here, range is given now. Surprisingly, the range value is given. So R max is given as 50 kilometers. Now we no need to calculate the, what is the maximum radar range? Okay. And sigma value is given which is 3 centimeters. PT value is also given which is 320 kilowatts. And what else is given? Gain is given 9.6 into 10 power 4. And effective aperture area A is given as 5 meter square. <coughs> and Sigma is also given which is like 12 meter square. Okay. So now let us go to the cal um, formula R max is equal to PT G sigma AE by 4 pi square S min whole power 1 by 4. Okay. This is the formula. Now, what you are asked to calculate for the specifications of the uh, for the specifications of a radar listed below. Compute the power received. Compute the power received. Received power we need to calculate. Which parameter says the received power? Which parameter belongs to the received power among all these? Yes, pin. Okay, we need to calculate yes, pin. Or simply, if you remove this maximum, it becomes just PR. Uh, the, the radar range equation, I am writing it, the radar range, I have removed the maximum term, okay, the radar range equation can be written as R is equal to PTG sigma AE by 4 pi square received power PR whole power 1 by 4. If R becomes R max, then PR becomes minimum detectable signal. Okay, now we need this one. So, how to write this one? PR is equal to PTG sigma AE by 4 pi whole square R power 4. Sorry, this is 1 by 4. Okay, so R power 4. Now you can substitute the given values in this one to get the answer. So PT is given which is nothing but 320 into 10 power 3 because 320 kilowatts into gain is also given 9.6 into 10 power 4 into 5 which is nothing but sigma into 12 divided by 4 pi square into r value r value is given as 50 kilometers 50 into 10 power 3 whole power 4 
okay so if you simplify this you will get uh, equation you will get the value as 8 1.86 into 10 power minus 9 watts 10 power minus 9 watts this is the received power calculation part okay once check the values whether these are correct or not okay so in this way you can calculate any type of unknown values any unknown value from the maximum radar range equation by just taking the formula r is r max is equal to ptj sigma ae by 4 pi square s min whole power 1 by 4 okay thank you